How's it going, YouTube? Cross here back with the pro hopefully finale of our Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses Redux Beast Warrior playthrough. I think we've, we've been making good time on this playthrough. Usually, I try to look at the like episodes of like how many, how many like episodes it takes us to get through with each deck, and I think this and the plant have been like our quickest. Maybe one was quicker that I didn't notice, but. We've been cruising. This deck is actually really fun, too. Some might even say overpowered. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's okay. It's good for a playthrough. I don't think I would ever play something like this if there was, like, a multiplayer mod for this game. That's the only thing I don't... I don't know how I feel about, like, a multiplayer mod of this. Cause I feel like it'd be, it'd kind of be like Yu-Gi-Oh! like now. Like just, even like Magic the Gathering and stuff. It's always going to be like the same 2-3 decks. Same 2-3 things. But maybe I'm just not uh, putting enough faith in the like Duelist of the Roses community to actually like play and have fun and do a bunch of different weird decks. I don't be interested. Anti magic fragrance. Okay, I couldn't remember if Yugi had magic jammers, so that was kind of a that was a big 50-50 right there. The question is gonna be, can I push him so he goes to the right with or to the left with Dark Magician? Might be a little tricky. Let's put Dark Hole in defense position. Just because he does have the meter force. I think his creatures are weaker in meadow too, right? Spellcasters. Kind of feels like he has a mirror force. Spellbinding circle, okay. Ah, uh, let's dump one Neckle Gal. Oh. Damn, he's strong as hell. What the heck? Oh. Yikes. Oh, he's powered up by Zek leader still. Okay. Uh, I mean, we might as well just Dark Hole. We don't lose anything by doing this. Let's see what he had. He had Karibo. Hit a DM. Megamorph. Spellbinding. Oh, wait. Did he get rid of those earlier? Oh, Karibo and Dark Magician make Magician of Black Chaos, don't they? So he had Chaos, Dark Magician, Double Swords, and a Dark Piercing Light. I was hoping he had a uh, mirror force down, like that he played on his very last turn. Oh, please go to the left, you dumb son of a bitch! I think I just win. Hey, right. oops. Battle locks in there. Hey, buddy. Who was our de our original deck leader? Was it Battle Steer? Oh wait, and this deck has not been better than the plants. What was I talking about? We had the roughest start ever with this deck. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you get double dark magician girl. Okay. Dang, I wish I was playing spellcasters. We have a spellcaster deck left? What are our decks left? Water Dragon Fairy, I have no idea what type she is. Monster Eye, I believe, is Fiend. Crawling Dragon number two are Dragons. Spirit of the Mountains, I have no idea. Reaper of the Cards and Ancient One of the Deep Forest, which I believe is Beast. I'm going to try to play a deck that we can start on Yugi's side because we started on Kaiba's side a lot. Like fighting Rex Raptor and shit. Maybe Spirit of the Mountain is Fairy. Maybe we fight, like, Taya. Because I don't think we've done a Fairy deck, have we? Technically, maybe Ray and Temp was more of, like, a Fairy deck. But I don't even remember playing the Ray and Temp deck. I streamed that on Twitch. And that was, like, my first playthrough where I was, like, kind of exploring the game and stuff. I still might go back and redo Ray and Temp, if I'm being honest. Just to, uh... Oh, his deck cost is 2300 Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah, I might go back and play Rain Temp at the very end as, like, the last deck. Just to, uh... Make it, like, th thematical. Rather than... Whatever the hell that garbage was that I had last time. I think I had, like, Blue Eyes and stuff. Or, like, Blue Eyes Ultimate, maybe? I know I cheated in the Roulette Wheel. Just because I wanted to see, like, what there was. Uh, so that's going to be a binding, correct? Gravity bind? Yeah. Okay, we have healing for this. He will never be able to get down there at my Shadow of Eyes. Battle Ox is never going to be strong enough to actually kill anything. Or, uh, Rabbit Horseman. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, that's like the perfect card right here. We need to stay above like 2k. Getting like double tremendous fire would be really, really annoying. I think he has mirror force, so I'm gonna go defense on that. I also think he knows when I have shadow of eyes down. Which is, like, super cringe in my opinion, but whatever. Yep. I want to decurse whatever this card is over on the left, but I don't know if he'll let me make it over there. Kind of crazy to me that he hasn't put a single thing in defense position when usually he does by now. Uh-oh. That's not a creature, is it? Okay. Whew. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, he moved. Interesting. I didn't think he'd move so early. Is this really dumb to do? He does have mirror force. Oh, he has double mirror force. Huh. Interesting. I think he grabbed. I think I dark hole right here. Because he went and grabbed tremendous fire. Kind of cringe that he literally knew I had Shadow of Eyes, too. Yeah. Ah, uh, can we actually dump this idiot? Might not move his deck leader right here. Yeah. I think I win. I would just go like that. And I, I don't think he'll move his deck leader, because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Uh, he might have Mirror Force, but we have Battle Locks and all that stuff. Okay! Come on, Crush Terrain. They're so stupid. <laughs> They, st they stay on crush terrain because they think your creature is going to, like, die or something? I think that's how it works. Like, he's standing on crush terrain, so he knows that if I were to walk on the crush, like, my creature would die, but it doesn't die if you're standing on the crush. That's the same reason they won't attack you on crush... Like, if you're standing on crush terrain, he won't attack with, like, a high-level creature because he thinks his creature is going to die. I think that's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think the AI is like, that's stupid. <laughs> Alright, we, we actually don't need to watch this or click through this. Uh, Beast Warrior is in the book. I think Beast Warrior was actually one of my, that was one of my favorite decks once we got boosted up. The rough start was kind of nice too. Like we didn't just breeze through. The, through. Uh, so like I said, we got Water Dragon Fairy, Monster Eye, Crawling Dragon Number 2, Spirit of the Mountains, Reaper of the Cards, and Ancient One of the Deep Forests. I don't know like three of those. But obviously we will play through all of them. But let me know which one you guys would like to see first. And I'll probably play one that you guys suggest. I'm leaning towards uh, Monster Eye at the moment. But I don't want to play through Kaiba's side first again. Because I'm pretty sure that'd be Fiend. And I'm pretty sure we'd be fighting uh, Darkness. Uh, either that or Reaper of the Cards sounds kind of cool. I'm interested what kind of deck that is. Uh, that might actually have that Soul Reaper dude that I was talking about. The dude on like the the dragon with the big scythe. Soul Hunter, that's his name. <laughs> so uh, yeah, make sure you sub if you are not subscribed. As always, check the description down below for links to the other playlists on the channel. Check out any of them 
you might be interested. All your support is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.